Hello guys, in this video we are going to be creating our custom video controls. As you can see this is my video and below it I'm having my own controls I created using JavaScript where I can make this size screen size big. I can make it small. I can take it to the normal size it was and also play it. At the same time I can pause it so I'm having a button here it's toggling between two actions play and pause and behind that we use a condition statement of if else we are going to see how we can achieve that using only JavaScript and some little CSS for the styling of the web page as you can see so behind the scene I went and removed the code now when I refresh this page it's going to be blank and we are going to be starting from scratch so as you can see I'm having a div with a class my video I will show you that as we are going okay let me show it to you right now so it's responsible for the that dark gray background it's also responsible for centering all the elements you're going to be putting on that web page and also covering that 100 viewpoint height or the viewpoint height is 100 and the body we gave it margin 0 and padding 0 and this will be applied on the buttons we are going to be creating now first I will create the video tag since you are dealing with HTML5 and inside here I will put the source tag But still this source tag has the source attribute so where the video is found and here I'm having my folder it's having this web page the style.css and the web vid so inside the web vid is where our video is located now we shall first target the web, web vid so that's the folder where the video is forward slash then you write the title of the video is cipher intro dot mp4 cipher underscore intro dot mp4 oh pm4 mp4 save this and this is the video as you can note it it has no controls it has nothing we are going to be creating ours but if you wanted controls to appear you just put an attribute there in the video opening tag and you see the controls automatically being displayed the one for the full size we are going to be creating ours and that's it guys so we don't need this we are going to be creating our own controls save this view it in the browser we are left with no controls so below the screen I'm going to create buttons button so you have to put the opening and closing we are going to call this one play pause or slash pause play pause so I'm going to copy the same stuff so this one will be normal screen this will be small screen and this will be big screen so save and preview it in the browser as you can see it's being aligned alongside the video so we are going to put some break tags here br again br 
save preview it in the browser and this is what we are having play normal screen small screen big screen so that's what we're going to be achieving using javascript now let's first put some event it's called on click on click but for now we are going to leave it empty until we create those events on click so every button is going to be having this event on click when a user clicks it now we are going to use an inline javascript file and right now right here i have the script tags already set now i will create a function and i will play it i will call it play pause play pause function inside the play pause function i will declare a variable called var my video equals document dot get element by id and we have not yet created an id so in my video i will give it an id of intro so here i will say get element by id called intro so we are targeting the video with this id of intro now since i'm targeting the play pause remember it has two actions for playing and pause so we are going to use some condition statement we say if my video whoa if my video the variable we declared here dot paused so when a user finds when the video is paused my video dot paused we say my video dot play so when it's paused it has to be played else else my video dot pause Hence, a user can pause it when he or she wants. So, let us bring this event here. Copy. And place it on the play and pause button. So, that's the event. When we refresh the page, check out this. So a person can play it and pause it. So now let us target the width. Here we say it's a normal screen. We shall give our video width. Which will be 500 pixels. So for the normal screen we shall say. Function. I'll call it normal screen and I'll copy this because it's going to be the same and I'll just say my video dot widget equals 500 since it's the normal screen it has to maintain the original width we gave it here so that will be the normal screen i'm going to copy this i'm going to copy the event and i paste it on the normal screen button so to wait to don't to save time i'm going to copy this I will call it small screen and for the small screen we have to make sure it goes below it lowers 
below the normal screen we shall give it like 300 pixels and I just copy this and I paste it where you see small screen so ch let us preview it in our browser you can see small screen it shrinks to 300 pixels normal screen it comes back to 500 pixels so remaining for the big screen what I will do I will still copy this because it's almost the same paste it so I'll call this one big screen big screen now the for the big screen the logic it has to be greater than the normal size or normal screen it has to be greater than the small screen so let us give this one like 700 pixels refresh as you can see or oh, we have to set that event on a button so we copy this have to do it right we give that event to the big screen save so when I say big screen as you can see it increases the size small it shrinks normal it comes back to the normal size so play pause so we are toggling between two actions the play and pause now let us first revise on the code we have been creating i'm going to shrink this video so that you can be see, seeing side by side So this is the code. For the play button we said you should capture this ID called intro and that intro we gave it to the video. It's called intro. So that's when they will be targeting it using this ID intro. And for, for us to use the intro we gave it a user defined variable which will be targeting it everywhere on the web page so we said if my video dot paused if a user finds when a video is paused like this so when a user finds when a video is paused like that we can play it this is my video dot play else we can again also pause it so this is the only stuff to toggle between the play and pause button and for the case of the normal screen the normal screen has to retain the same pixels or same width with the width we gave to the video it was like an attribute we set for the video so the normal screen has to adapt the same size for the small screen we have to make sure it goes below the normal screen so we redu we reduced it to 300 pixels and for the big screen common sense it has to be greater than the small and greater than the normal size so we gave it 700 pixels so that's how you can create your custom controls on your videos using javascript simple just play pause normal screen small screen big screen small screen normal screen so thanks guys for watching i will see you in the next tutorials make sure you subscribe to my channel if this use tutorial was useful to you <laughs> and i will see you around nice time